her first and last name and date of birth, please. Sylvia Salazar. Okay. Born July 16th, 1996. Okay, awesome. So what brings you in today? Feeling this numbness or this dulling pain going through my left arm and leg. Okay, left arm and left leg. Yeah, about right through them and sort of not like a dulled sense of smell. Okay. Like I can't smell very strong odors or anything. Okay, have you noticed any other symptoms besides that? Those two are about the strongest symptoms. Okay, and you have, when did they start? The last few months, Same they've been months. getting a little bit worse. Okay. So would you say two, three months? Two, three. Two, three. I started noticing it maybe in the spring. Okay. And you feel like they're getting worse, like yeah. Okay. I'm noticing it more frequently. Okay. So, like you say, uh, more frequently. Do you mean like they go, come and go? Yeah. I think okay. at first I was just noticing it maybe in the morning when I woke up, but okay. now it's kind of throughout the day. Okay. First morning, and now it's like throughout. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a few questions just to update your history, your medical history here. Do you drink alcohol? Sometimes. Sometimes. How many times a month would you usually? Maybe four or five. Four or five Pretty times. Pretty socially only. Okay. And how many drinks do you have every time that you drink? Maybe one to two. One to two. Okay, it's pretty good, like once a week, maybe one, yeah. a couple of drinks. Okay, any tobacco do you smoke? Sometimes. Okay. How many cigarettes a month, what'd you say? Maybe one. One, okay. Yeah. So it's not too bad. Very rarely. Okay, any recreational drug use? No. Okay. Do you have any allergies? Seasonal allergies. Okay. No food allergies. Okay, that's great. Or to any medication. Okay. Um, any flu-like symptoms in the past couple of weeks? Other than the lack of smell? No. Okay. Do you have any history of any high blood pressure, any chronic illnesses, diabetes, or anything that you think would be worth discussing? No blood pressure, diabetes, no. Okay. Any heart problems? Okay. A little bit of an iron deficiency, but that's okay. <laughs> Are you taking supplements for that yeah. already? Okay, perfect. Okay, so I am gonna start taking your vital signs, okay? Just to make sure that everything looks good there. If at any point you have any questions as we go, please feel free to ask me.
just going to place this right here. Hundred over seventy, that's pretty normal. I'm just gonna slide this down. Okay, we've got ninety seven percent oxygen and room air and 92 rhetoric. That's good. I'm just going to write that down. So we have 98 degrees, blood pressure, 100 over 17, heart rate 92, oxygen 97, and Temperature, okay, that was it. Okay, so since you have been having um, lack of smell or a little bit diminished sense of smell, I'm gonna do a swab just to test for any um, COVID, flu, anything that could be affecting. Okay, so just, just gonna have you open actually. It's just gonna go in your mouth. Try to get it. And I'll let you know as soon as the results come back. Um, the results are going to show up on your portal once we have them, but if I see anything abnormal, I'll reach out to you for sure. Okay, so I'm going to start taking a look at your throat. I'm just going to have you say, ah, uh, ah, uh. okay. Okay, tonsils are normal. Okay. I'm going to do one quick test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this tongue depressor like on the side, the sides of your tongue. You're just going to try to push it with your tongue. So just to make sure there's no perfect, diminished, perfect muscle mass. Okay. And we are going to be doing a taste test. Sometimes smell and taste can go hand in hand. So we want to make sure that there's no loss of taste as well. So these strips, I'm just going to be placing one on your tongue and you can close your mouth. Try to taste, taste that. Go ahead and close. Just, do you taste anything? Paper. Paper. <laughs> okay. So no taste on that one. Let's try this one. We have four of them that we're going to be trying. Tastes like something. Like something? Yeah. Oh, how would you describe it? Is it bitter? Bitter. Salty, bitter? Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Mm -hmm. okay. Salty, maybe? Salty. Salty. Perfect, yeah. Okay, so there was one of them that you didn't taste that it's normal because it's a control sample. It doesn't have a taste, but there's one that you couldn't taste. This one. So there might be a little bit compromised sense of taste as well. Maybe you just hadn't noticed because it's just a certain 
um, tastes, this should have tasted like bitter as well. So, <coughs> okay. Okay, now we're gonna do a smell test, okay? So first I'm gonna have you close, um, just cover one of your nostrils and take a deep breath. I just wanna make sure that there's no clogged. Perfect. Now the other one. Okay, so you can breathe normally, right? Okay, now go ahead and close your eyes. I'm gonna give you a few different scents. Okay, right there you can go ahead and take a deep breath through your nose. Do you recognize that smell? Peppermint? Perfect, yes. Okay. Now I'm gonna have you close or cover your right nostril. Yes, perfect. Go ahead and take a deep breath with your nose. Can you recognize that? A little hard to, but... Maybe I you would have to guess what it is. Do you want me to One try it? Okay. Maybe? Something flower-like, floral maybe. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same thing, but cover your left. Okay, give me one second. Okay, here we go. Go ahead and take a deep breath. Like lemon? Yes, perfect. Okay. So the interesting thing is that your diminished sense of smell is mostly on the left side, which corresponds with uh, the numbness that you've been feeling. So that's... Definitely something that gives us information to go from. Okay. Now I'm going to be doing an eye exam. First, I'm just going to check your pupils. So I'm going to have you just look in front and I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to shine a bright light on your eyes and I just want to make sure that they're Now, I'm gonna ask you, I'm actually gonna turn this off, I don't wanna blind you. So you're gonna be looking at the tip of my light pen, okay? And just try to keep on looking at it as I approach it. Okay, so there's no abnormal movement on your eyes. And your pupils are round and reactive to light, both of them, so. Okay, now I'm gonna have you follow my finger here, okay? So try to follow it just with the eyes, don't turn your head, okay? Okay, the ocular motor function is normal. Now, we're gonna do a vision test. Have you noticed any blurry vision lately? Um, I can't see very well far. Okay. So. Um, do you wear glasses usually? Okay, don't have contacts for you. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. Um, when was the last time that you did an eye exam? A few years, maybe. Okay. Do you usually wear glasses? When I drive at night. Okay. Or watch TV. Okay, well, we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna have you, um, you're gonna hold it with your right hand at arm's length and then you're gonna cover your left eye. Okay, yes. Um, how does that look? Can you read mm -hmm. any of them? I can read all of them. Okay, perfect. So go ahead and read this one for me L T F P H. Okay, do you know what color is this one? Green. 
and this one red. Okay, do you know what what word Glasses. is this? Okay, perfect. So there is 2020 on that eye. Let's go ahead and switch sides. You're gonna hold with this one. How does that look? I could see all of it. Okay. So can you read this one for me? Nine three seven eight two six. Okay, and we're gonna read this one as well. Three seven four two five eight. Okay. Can you tell me which circle is bigger? Nine or eight? Nine. Okay. And what number is this right here? Five. And this word I. Okay, that's perfect actually. So you have 2020 vision. You might just have a little bit of difficulty with the lights at mm -hmm. night, but it's actually really good. Okay. Okay, so now we're gonna do one more test on your eyes. I wanna check for your reflexes and your peripheral vision, okay? So the first one we're gonna do, I'm gonna be moving my fingers out of your field of vision. You're just gonna go ahead and look straight at my nose and just let me know when you stop seeing my fingers, okay? I can't see both of them anymore. Okay, okay. <laughs> but which one did you see longer? The right one. Okay, so my left. Okay, we're gonna try that a couple more times. This time I saw your left one for longer. Okay. This time I saw the right one for longer. Okay, can you see them there at all? I can see your fingers. Okay, I can see your wrist. Now go ahead and look straight up at my nose. Can you tell me which which fingers are moving? These. Okay. Right. Okay. Which ones are up and which ones are down? Both are up. Okay. Right moved. Okay. Left moved. Left is moving. Left is moving. Okay. Right is moving. Okay. That's really good. So peripheral vision is normal. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna be examining your head and I'm gonna take a few measurements of your head just to make sure there's no inflammation or asymmetry that could give us some information, okay? You can just go ahead and relax. I'm going to be palpating your head. I'm just looking for any lumps. If there are any spots where you feel any pain or it feels a little bit tender, please let me know as we go. Any pain of eyebrows here? Any pain of eyebrows here? No. No. How about here? No. Okay, that's good. Okay. going to be checking your lymph nodes to make sure there's no inflammation. Okay. Pre and post irregular lymph nodes are non-palpable. So that's good. I'm going to keep going down the jaw. Okay, submandibular and submental are also no problem. I'm just gonna go down the neck a little bit. Okay, so that seems to be normal. Now I'm gonna do a few more tests, I'm sorry, on your face. Um, can you go ahead and give me a big smile? Okay, so I'm just looking for the 
muscle and how your face moves, making sure there's no drooping on one side, making sure it's symmetrical. Now go ahead and uh, tense your jaw. Okay, palpating your masseter muscle. Okay, that's symmetrical and very good muscle tone. Okay, now go ahead and raise your eyebrows for me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to push them down and you try to resist my force, okay. Now you're gonna go ahead and frown them and I'm gonna try to pull them up, just don't let me. Okay, now I'm gonna place my hand right here and I want you to try to turn your head towards the so left. Okay, I'm just gonna do, okay, a little bit of resistance. Okay, very good. Did that feel difficult at all? No. Okay. Okay. So now we're going to do a few hearing tests. And first I'm just going to take a look inside your ears. Okay, so you can just go ahead and relax. I'm going to take a look inside. Oh, I love your earrings. Thank you. Okay, the ear canal is unobstructed. Okay. You can just relax. Okay, your canal is unobstructed as well. No redness, no fluid discharge. That's great. So now I'm going to do a few hearing tests. I'm going to have you close your eyes. And now I'm going to give you two options. And I want you to tell me which one of them sounds louder to you. Okay. Can you hear this? Mm -hmm. Is that louder or this? The second one. Okay. Let's try the side. Can you hear that? I can Okay, is that louder or this? The second one. Okay. Now I'm going to be placing this on top of your head. Can you hear it? Yes. Does it sound symmetrical on both ears or would you say you hear it louder on one side? I don't hear it anymore. Okay, let's try it one more time. Just pay attention if you hear it symmetrical or not. Yeah, it's pretty symmetrical. Okay. Now I'm gonna make a, a subtle sound just with my gloves. And I want you to tell me if you hear it. I get, it can be like up, down, left, right, in the front or in the back. So whatever you can describe to me of the sound where it's coming from. Okay. Like front, left. Okay. Or like side, okay. side, front, right. Right. It felt like it was in front. Okay. Behind. Okay. In front. Okay. On top of. Okay. Below. Okay. Under my ear. Okay. Right next to my ear. Above my right ear. Okay, perfect. So that's really good. So hearing seems to be normal. I'm going to take a measurement of your head and just relax a bit. Okay. Those were centimeters, just for reference. Okay. 
I'm just gonna check for symmetry, okay? Okay. Gonna lightly touch your face with this. It's a little bit sharp, but let me try it on your hand just so you know it's not gonna hurt at all. And you can go ahead and close your eyes. Just let me know if it feels sharp to you or dull. So this is gonna be dull and this is gonna be sharp. Okay, okay, okay. Sharp. Okay. Sharp. 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 get into testing some of your reflexes. I want to make sure that the rest of your body, we're going to check your um, tricep reflex, all your arm reflexes, your wrists. Um, we'll do your knees. Um, I'll check on down your spine as well. And there's one more that you probably have not heard of, which is your um, eyelid reflex. So um, these are sterile and I'm just going to touch very lightly on your eye and normal reaction is that they would close. Okay. Okay, okay so now I'm just going to have you relax. I'm going to be palpating your arms first. If there's any pain, do you feel the numbness today or is today one of the good days? I feel it a little bit. A little bit, okay. Okay, do you feel like it originates like at the top and it kind of like yeah. radiates down? Okay. Or at the joints? At the joints, okay. So I'm just gonna first palpate. I just wanna make sure that there's no lumps, masses, especially on the joints. Do you mind if we remove the watch and the at hair time? If you feel any like shooting pain or anything abnormal, it's a little pump. of tension here. Yeah. Okay. okay. How about closer to the elbow joint? Anything abnormal here? Just like maybe tightness or. Okay. Okay, we're going to do a couple of tests. Go ahead and try to push my hand down. Okay. Now go ahead and try to push it up. Okay, now you're going to have to try to leave it there. Try to resist my movement. I'm going to push down. Okay, now I'm going to push up. Okay, now go ahead and squeeze my fingers as hard as you can. Okay, let's try like that. Okay, that's pretty normal muscle tone. Okay, so you're gonna have, you're gonna hold your hand actually, and you can go ahead and close your eyes. I'm gonna be moving your fingers either up or down. Just let me know if it feels like I'm moving them up or down. Up, up, down, down.
Okay, your nails look really healthy and I'm, I'm surprised you did mention you have an iron deficiency, but it's possible the supplements you're taking are already working, so that's great. Okay, so I'm going to be checking your reflexes here. You can just go ahead and uh, let your arm loose. So I'm going to carry okay. the weight. Just let it loose. Make sure it slows. Okay, it's a little reflex there. Okay, now go ahead and just uh, make sure the wrist is loose. Just let it fall there. sure that it's completely loose there. Okay, now go ahead and extend your arm, your fingers. Okay, I can see how your fingers react to my to the pressure. So the reflexes do seem a little bit diminished, but um, they're still there, so it would make sense. I just want to compare what's going on with your right side. Okay, so first I'm just going to palpate, and again, if you feel like any shooting pain, any uncomfortable sensation, let me know. Do you feel that same tightness you were feeling on the left or not really? Mm, not really. Okay. Okay, go ahead and try to push my hand down. Okay, now go ahead and try to push it up. Okay, now resist my movement, just try to stay there. Try to keep it oh. there. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to push up. I'll go ahead and squeeze my fingers. Okay, definitely there's a bit more strength on your right. Are you right-handed? Okay, so that could just be normal. Okay, so now I'm going to check the reflexes here. Just go ahead and relax. And make sure the... Okay, there it is. Okay, make sure it's loose. Okay, there it is. Okay, so that's normal. Now I'm gonna move on to your legs, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna be using this reflex hammer. And first I'm just gonna start palpating. Okay. okay. Noticed a few scars. Have you had any knee surgeries? Yeah. Okay. A ligament tear a few years ago. A few years ago. Okay. But after the surgery, everything was normal. Okay. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and try to push my hand. Okay. Try to lift your foot. Now try to push my hand back. Okay, that's normal. Okay, so I'm just going to be tapping right here. Make sure you keep your ankle loose. So loosen it up. Okay. Okay, I felt that on your toes. Okay. 
we're gonna do the knee reflex. Okay, it's there. Okay, I tried to pull my hand up, now down. Okay, and I'll try to push my hand back. Perfect. This so I'm gonna be. Oh. Okay, perfect. So I'll just try this one again. I have a feeling that. This is a little bit diminished. Okay. So left knee. But the ankle seemed fine, so. Okay, now I'm gonna have you turn um turn around. You're gonna be facing the back of the room. I'm gonna be looking at your spine. Okay, so first I'm just looking, palpating, making sure I don't notice any inflammation, anything that could indicate a pinched nerve. Can I slide my fingers through your back? Let me know if they feel the same, similar pressure, similar temperature. Yeah. Okay. One more time. Does that feel? Yeah. Equal. How about this? Same. This. Same. Okay. I'm going to touch your back with a cold object. I'm going to slide it down your back. Just let me know if that feels the same temperature as well. Cold. <laughs> yeah. Does it feel the same though? Same. Yeah. Do not have cold. One more time. One more time. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to be going down your spine. I'm going to be tapping lightly. Okay. And if you feel like any shooting pain, um, I don't know, anything that feels uncomfortable or abnormal, please let me know. Everything good so far? Okay. I felt a little different at the top. Versus, at the top? Yeah. Okay. Do you remember where? I can go ahead and tap it one more time. Just let me know where you feel it. Like that one? This one. Yeah. What do, do you feel like? Does it feel less pressure? Does it feel like a tingling? Shooting yeah, pain? Like some sort of tingle maybe. Tingling, okay. So we're around C5. Okay. Now can you go ahead and try to shrug your shoulders for me? Okay, I'm gonna keep up, keep them there. I'm gonna try to push down. Okay, that's great. Now go ahead and try to touch your right shoulder with your right ear. So try to keep shoulders down and just move the head. Yes, perfect. Is there any pain there at all? A little bit, yeah. Okay. Now go ahead and do the other side. Any pain right there? Yeah. I heard a little crack. <laughs> Maybe just tension. Okay. Okay, so there's definitely the possibility of there being a pinched nerve in the cervical area, which could be affecting your arm 
it shouldn't really be affecting the leg as well. So I'm thinking there might be another issue going down the spine. But we're going to have to get some x-rays to be able to look up your, at your vertebrae closely and just make sure there's nothing there because just yeah okay I'm gonna go ahead and clip oh I do want to do one more test before okay so I'm gonna be touching your back with that same sharp object that we did earlier just let me know if you feel this on your right or the left okay right left right 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 left right middle okay. left left right right okay so that seems to be equally sensitive there's no Loss of sensitivity on either side. And just to make sure, I'm going to take the temperature right around the area where you felt a little bit of a tingling. Okay, the temperature is pretty consistent, so not concerned about that. I'm gonna go ahead and clip your gown. I'll let you get dressed and then I'll come back and discuss uh, the results and what the next steps are gonna be, okay? Okay.